Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is in fact Steve Faulkner and this is in fact Playlist by Craig Petty and Alexam Magic. Before we do this, for we, for we do, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Before we do this, before we, before we do this review, can you please have a look at onlinemagic.co. That's onlinemagic.co. That's my online magic course. I only said card magic course there because it used to be someone else, didn't it? Uh, I have live sessions from Danny Goldsmith, Kainoa Hardbottle, Andy Gladwin's on there. We've got lots of uh, stuff lined up with guest lecturers, plus over 500 videos from me. That was the worst sales pitch in the world, but you, you get it. It's really good. It's posh now as well. We've got a new website, so have a look at my face looking all crisp and old. Uh, OnlineMagic.co. Thank you very much. Hey guys, my name's Craig Petty, and this is Playlist. But frankly, I think it's a bit of a coincidence that these two cards right there on the top match. Now that might be a fluke, might be a fluke, except for the fact that the second two cards match as well. Let's have a look at the third cards. They match as well. In fact, I think this is less of a coincidence and more of a this. Now if I took this Uptown Funk, because you picked Uptown Funk, didn't you? If I took, took, took Uptown Funk and rubbed it against this card and said, look, it's Uptown Funk, that wouldn't be very impressive, because you know there's two Uptown Funks. But if I took Britney and I just snapped my fingers and waited a second, and then I got, uh, got that into Uptown. I mean, that would now be a little bit more impressive, wouldn't it? Let's see. Through, it's changed into Uptown Funk, and that right there is the big finish. What this is, is a deck of cards, really, a deck of gimmick cards, a, a 20 minute parlor act using download cards. Now, I must confess, I'm not very down with the kids. I didn't know what these were. But these download cards that you get, and in Starbucks and places like that, it's giveaways, and you go, go out and you, you download a song, and it's, it's quite a cool thing. And, and they're all over the place, apparently. Service stations, etc. And these are download cards with different bands on, um, Britney Spears, people like that. And you can do a load of tricks with these cards. <clears throat> there is, there's a big old download on this. this is, it goes on for ages, and Craig takes you through really well all of the the tricks you can do with this now i'm not going to mention all the tricks because we're going forever there's loads of them but it's it's basically loads of kind of um prediction tricks there are matching tricks there is a lovely wild card trick which i think is the best trick where where the song just all, all the the different artists turn into uh, the same song and you've got all the cards left on the table and they all match so there's loads of good good stuff on here but importantly there's a lot that you'll be able to come up with yourself because this is a, basically, as I said, it's a gimmick deck of cards um, that you can use instead of a deck of cards. So that's an awful explanation, but it should tell you what it is. And do check out the trailer if you're not sure. The important thing is it's part of the Alakazam Wallet series. So this is, you know, something you can do for, as I said, 20 minutes plus just with these cards. Important thing is, are you going to want to? Now... This is a very honest trick. You know exactly what you're getting. You know the tricks you're getting. There's nothing hidden. My thing is, do I want to do these tricks with these or, or would I rather do them with a deck of cards? And that's going to depend on you. This is a total opinion thing. Myself, I'm a big fan of playing cards. I love playing cards. I love the romance of them. I love the, the design of them. And I'm always going to choose to do these tricks with cards, but some of you will want something different. Some of you don't want to be seen as card magicians. You might want to be seen as mentalists. You might want to just get something out that doesn't look like a deck of cards at all. And for that, these are great because they're different. People are, yes, they are little cards, but they don't look like cards. So, so in the minds of the spectators, it's not a card trick. Now I'd put myself out as a card magician. So I can't see where I'm going to use these and they won't fit into my repertoire but for some of you they will and and you know maybe if i had a specific gig at a music event or something i might think about using these because because again they 
they don't feel like a car trick, they're novel. And you can explain what they are. Craig does sell me, you know, that you can explain. Some people are going to see them and they're going to, like me, they're not going to know what they are. So you explain to them. Um, so on the plus side, a lot of tricks with them. Loads of stuff you can do that isn't on the download that you'll come up with yourself. They're different, they feel novel. They're music downloads, cars, they'll fit certain events, they'll fit certain people a lot more than others. Uh, and then they've received, I've got this one with, um, with a, a QR code that you can, you, you basically end up with a prediction and you go, this is the prediction. They go, well, it's not, it's a QR code. And they put their phone on it and you can, you can open the song on their phone and it matches the prediction, if you see what I mean. So great, oh, that's great. On the, on the, the not plus side for me is that they, like I said, they won't fit me and what I do. So it's not the sort of thing I would take out on a professional gig and use. But if I was showing tricks to people, like a lot of us are, and I see myself as an amateur now, I show the same people tricks that have seen other tricks, then, then I would do that. There's, a, there's an awful lot of the tricks which involve kind of dealing under, de you know, like these, these, these deals where you put one below, one onto the table, all that kind of stuff. I'm not a massive fan of all that. I think it does have a place and that process can... Um, give you a chance to do lots of really fun stuff with that. So again, a preference for me is that I probably wouldn't do all of the tricks. You know, I, I wouldn't do a 20 minute routine with these. I'd probably do five minutes with them, but I think that 20 minutes is there for you to pick and choose what you do with these cards and give you an idea of how to use them. Um, anything else? Some people aren't have gonna heard of them, so you're gonna have to explain and it isn't gonna suit everybody, but I think it's a good, honest release. If you like the idea of it, you're gonna be happy with it. If you think it's not for me, then then do card tricks uh, instead. But and well made, you know, these are gonna last you, they're not flimsy rubbish thing, they're put together really well, they do look genuine, they don't look like a magic trick, and and there is some detail in this that there are uh, as well a marked deck, so you can they're marked in a really nice, clever way that's very clear, so you can see what's on the other side of them before they're turned over, which gives you um, lots more potential for tricks. And there are details like it. So there is a uh, presented to you by www. and it gives you a website. Apparently, if you look at the website, it will be legit. So, so they they put some detail into this. So it's a quality product, um, but probably not something I would use uh, in a live performance. But that doesn't mean you won't. won't. So. Um, Playlist, Craig Petty, please use the links below. Thank you to Alakazam for sending that to me. Uh, any questions, have a good one. Go and check out onlinemagic.co. Just go and have a look at it. Get it up the ranks. Get it up Google by looking at it and maybe hang around on the page for about three and a half hours because Google very much likes that. Uh, no, you don't have to do that. But just leave your computer on. Uh, <laughs> take care. Have a great one. See you later.